Hey you guys, this is George. I'm back with another episode of D-Runk Comics. So we've got some new releases today. Um, it's Friday, November 30th, and new release day was two days ago. Well, it's Minnesota in November, so we had a little bit of a snowstorm. So that impacted that. And uh, then I went and got some new releases last night, but uh, comic book store didn't have all the books that I wanted, so I uh, wasn't ready to film yet. I don't know what y'all want to do. All right, I know what I want to do. I want to get to the part of the video where I show you the books that I bought. And I also bought a, an action figure so you can see that thing too. All right, check it. Ah, there's that action figure I was telling you about. It is the uh, Marvel Superheroes Punisher. I think he's rocking the same coat that they put Gambit in back, you know, in the Toy Biz action figure days. But... Dude, it was like five bucks at the comic book shop. It's not mint on card, but it is still on the card. It has not been opened. So, I was pretty excited to see that. It looks like this one came out back in 1994. So, this guy has uh, got at least 24 years on him. So, pretty cool. Happy to get that. Boom. Oh, what do I got there? I, it looks like I've got Spawn. Um, you know, and it's uh, not a big... I'm sitting here trying to cover the glare, but no, it's, <laughs> it's how the book looks. All right. Anyways, um, Virgin cover number, I think it's 293. I can't really tell because it doesn't say in the book, but uh, pretty sure it's it's either 292 or 293. But really cool cover. Like that one a lot. Picked that one up the moment I saw it. So very happy. Good job, you guys. All right. DC Comics Heroes in Crisis number three. If you've seen any other videos where I talk about Heroes in Crisis, I've been getting these Polaroid variants because they've shown major milestone moments in the DC Universe. This is where uh, Wonder Woman uh, tried to uh, adjust Maxwell Lord's neck and um, he, he went to sleep. So that's that. Uh, the book is really awesome. Love this story. Uh, Tom King is doing a great job. Uh, I think they're trying to hint at who who done it. Where, um, you know, I'm not going to go spoilers on this one, but uh, interesting book, interesting uh, series of events that happened in this one. So good on them. All right, we got Dead Man Logan, one of twelve. Um, this is the old man Logan, so the you know the alternate version of Wolverine. Um, who's in the main continuity, continuity now, easy for me to say. Anyways, um, well, you can tell by the name of the title. Uh, book basically says he's got 12 months to live, and there's 12 issues. So I think they're going to be, uh, you know, trying to wind him down as they resurrect the, uh, the current Wolverine. So, all right, stay tuned on that one. Book was good, though. It wasn't amazing, but it, it was all right. All right, I got Dread, Final Punishment, book two of two. Didn't read it yet because I don't have one of two yet. So once I find one of two, I will get right on reading that. But uh, the cover drew me in right away. And I, and then I was like, oh, two of two? What? Damn it, where the hell is one? And they didn't have it at the bookstore. So I'll get it. Don't worry about that. And I'll let you know how it, how it is. All right, Batman Beyond, number 26, written by, where does it say? Oh, Dan Jurgens, my favorite favorite dude right there. Batman Beyond, Terry McGinnis taking on the Joker. What more do you got to say about that? Pretty cool. Check it out. All right. Got uh, Batgirl number 29, the Middleton variant. And, uh, yeah. You know, I like me some Batgirl. All right. Now, this one is Spider-Man number one, Marvel action, kind of co-written with IDW. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I guess I should have known better, but I didn't know it was a kid's book. I just thought it was like a, a cutesy cover, and it was. This is the one of 10, 10 uh, incentive variant. Um, the cover is really cool, but the story, it's a kid's story. So, you know, if you uh, have kids at home, this would be the, the Spider-Man book I think you'd want to pick up for them. It's uh, more in there, targeted for their age range, so there it is. All right, now we got Drowned Earth, number one, Aquaman, Justice League. And, uh, I don't know, kind of weird. Uh, you know, I, I read it. It's okay. I'll read, I'll read anything else that comes from this series, but, you know, it, it didn't, 
I didn't uh, finish the book going, damn it, I need number two right now. No, I kind of finished this one and I was like, oh, that took a while. <laughs> so here's uh, Drowned Earth number one. And then I got the cover B variant. So you know what that one looks like. Boom. All right, you got Flash number 59. Haven't read it yet. Um, cover is a little weird looking, but whatever. I'm cool with that. You know, I like the Flash, one of my favorite heroes. So, speaking of favorite heroes, here he is, my all time favorite hero, Superman, Action Comics number 1005, Red Cloud Revealed. I mean, if you're reading the story, then uh, you'll, you'll eventually read this one and you'll know who it is. But if I tell you who Red Cloud is right now and you haven't read the story, well, you ain't going to know who the hell it is. It's some, some uh, person that they introduced in this story. And, um, you know, I'd be okay if they moved on from this story. It's getting a little, uh, you know, like, really? <laughs> Let's move it along here. All right, variant cover. I bought that one, too. Superman delivering Christmas presents. That has nothing to do with the story. Just a, you know, just a cool Christmassy cover. All right, moving right along. Got Return of Wolverine number three. And, uh, yeah, you can see, you know, sorry for a little bit of a spoiler here, but this panel kind of sets up the very final page. He does actually fight the X-Men in this book. It's not a, it's not a rip-off, but the, the fight should spill into the next book if they you know unless they do some weird continuity thing but all right not a bad book <laughs> all right and last is uncanny x-men number three i got the action figure cover variant i absolutely love those variants and you know i didn't even really mean to do that where i started with an actual action figure and then ended with an action figure variant that wasn't deliberate but um that is legion on the cover and he is heavily featured in the book and you know so i read a review on this book uh before i read it and i would read uncanny x-men one and two i hated both of those books um and then i read the review from ign uh, which basically said this book was terrible as well. But I disagree. I think the book was actually pretty fun. And it had some some good X-Men tie-ins. You know, there's a scene where, you know, Bishop saves this dude's life. And, and you know, the, the guy is all grateful. And, and then super, uh, super, uh, Bishop um, hands him a sign. He goes, here's your sign, sir. And he, this was a protester, and the sign says, God hates muties. And the guy's like, well, you know, sheepishly, like, oh, thanks. <laughs> so kind of a cool uh, cool X-Men-like moment where, you know, they're saving the lives of people that hate and fear them, which is, to me, one of the most compelling things about X-Men. We'll talk about more of that in a video, another video, but I think this is leading in the right direction. Um, you know, I don't like it when it takes three issues to really signify that but they're getting there so that that's cool at least so all right that's all i got for the new releases as you can tell it's just an empty wall behind that one so all right all right guys i'm back hope you enjoyed uh the content we had here on the channel today um go ahead and comment if you want to talk about any of the books i can go in more detail about my thoughts on i read probably half of those books so um, you want to talk about some of them, I'm down for that. Also, comment below if you want to see me do more videos on some of the um, older action figures that I have in my collection. I have got just a, a crap ton uh, or a buttload or uh, whatever, uh, a metric shit ton of these uh, X-Men action figures. This is an X-Men, but you know what I meant. So if you want to see more of that, uh, comment below, let me know. Uh, like the video, subscribe, and uh, hopefully you check out the next one. I am George here with D-Runk Comics. D-Runk responsibly as always. Last call. See you next time.